Good morning, welcome back to another vlog. So we are officially back to normal weekend vlogs, which I'm actually really thankful for <laughs> because Vlogmas was exhausting along with all the other stuff that I had going on. And in the world of YouTube, if you're interested, I didn't even make threshold to be able to even bring home a paycheck for um, December. I brought home a fairly big one in November and then December I was like, nope, you're done. So I don't know if like the algorithm didn't like me posting videos every day. I don't know, but that was exhausting. I don't actually know if I'll do it again next year. We might have to modify it a little bit, but I did enjoy doing it for a little bit until things got really crazy with my grandma and um, a family member that had brain surgery on the 23rd. So things just got really crazy. So I'm still trying to catch up. I've got Christmas morning. I have uploaded, I just need to make it live, do all the back end stuff, and then I still need to finish editing my Christmas baking video, which I'm hoping to have done at some point today. That's on my to-do list. But I, I, just, I have a lot to say. <laughs> I've not vlogged in a long time, so I feel like I have a lot to like catch you guys up on. So um, yes, family member had brain surgery. He's doing great. Um, he's home, he's walking around just fine and everything is good. We're just waiting to hear from the doctor if it's cancer, which um, everyone suspects that it is. Um, he's had lung cancer, so it's just, you know, part of it. But it is snowing outside. I'm thankful that I had my garage. I'm parked outside the garage right now, so my car can warm up not inside the garage. So um, the roads are fine. It's been really warm here lately, so the ground isn't quite, like, ready to freeze stuff. But so I'll talk a little bit about this later, but one of my 2024 resolutions for myself, I am one of those people that do resolutions and I try and keep it very, very like realistic. So one of the things that I deemed a resolution is to take care of my mental health. Um, so right now I am headed to a local um, therapy place. They are like a bigger organization. I have been wanting to do this for a while. Um, my reasoning is kind of twofold. So one reason is because I have a lot of childhood trauma that I need to work through. I think that it's time that I'm in a place in my life where I can put that first. And so that's what I'm doing. And then the second reason is because my PCP suspects that I have ADHD. So I need to, I need to just focus and just go get it done. I'm feeling good today and I just need to go in. I printed off all the paperwork yesterday. So I have all of this filled out. I printed out my check stubs, all that stuff. So I'm just going to go do it. Um, and then I need to go to the bank. I've got money to deposit for our house payment. I got to get gas. I've got to go Walmart, Dollar Tree. Well, I have to go to Walmart to get some things, but I want to go to Dollar Tree for Valentine's Day decor. And then I want to go to Big Lots to search through their Christmas um, clearance because I want to give the kids a tree to decorate next year. So I'm hoping that they still have some of their mini trees left and their mini ornaments so that I can get those half off and put them back for next year. Um, I also need to meal plan, do my January budget. I need to work on my YouTube stuff. And then I also have a big cleaning list that I want to try and get through today. Today is probably just going to be like a catch up day. This last week has been so crazy. Not even just like crazy, just like the week between Christmas and New Year's is just stupid. <laughs> like, I hate the week between New Year's and Christmas. Um, I had to work this week, so my brain was like a million other places. I'm sure my productivity was shit, so I don't know. But today's a new day, so. Okay, so I just left the therapy place. It took way longer than what I thought it was going to. I was there for like two hours. So I printed out my paperwork online and I took it in. And then I was like, okay, well, this will make things faster. It, in fact, did not. She had to take all that stuff from the paperwork and then put it in the computer. And I'm like, I feel like this is a lot. <laughs> so after she finally got everything in the computer, then I went to an office with someone else. And basically, she screened me for everything. Um, she said that I'm scoring very high for ADHD. Not the hyper-focused one, but the other one. I want to say that it's the attention deficit one um but I can't remember what she said it's not the hyper one um and also anxiety but I personally think that anxiety is like tied in with the ADHD so I don't know I'm not a doctor but that's just what I think so anyway um 
she said that I definitely qualify for therapy services so I start therapy next Friday and I'm super excited because I've been wanting to do this for so freaking long <laughs> I just I've always made excuses of why I couldn't go or why I shouldn't go and take care of myself or we didn't have the money or whatever so I'm happy that I'm finally getting this done I do have to pay a copay every week but um oh gosh this bridge is slick um I qualify for a sliding scale so that's exciting my copay is basically reduced so that's exciting so anyway I'm headed to Walmart I've got to get a couple things I my list was actually very long but I think I'm gonna get most of it and just have it delivered because I need to order groceries too so I'll just do it like all in one but there are a couple Christmas gifts I need to get that I couldn't order online so I'm gonna go in and get those and then I'm gonna head to the Dollar Tree find some Valentine's Day decor hopefully if not it's fine but and then I'm gonna go to Big Lots I'm gonna grab something for lunch I'm starving after all of that my brain is like mush now after all of that information and like just being in that state um and then I'm gonna grab coffee and go home and probably just clean up around the house so I'll show you everything that I get when I get back home I am back home so I'll show you what I got really fast so I went into big lots looking for a mini tree I also went into Walmart looking for a mini tree they did not have them so I'm gonna have to order them online but I went ahead and picked up some wrapping paper. So I got four rolls of wrapping paper at Big Lots. This cost me like a right, little under $5. So we'll have that for next year. Um, Dollar Tree went in for a bag. And then I also went in for something else. But now I don't remember what it is. Oh, Valentine's Day decor. They didn't have all their decor out yet. But I did pick up like what I thought I should get now. Because if I didn't get it now, then it would be gone. So I saw this little wreath. I thought that would be cute to hang on the door. We also saw this. I thought that would be cute for Bristol's Valentine's Day basket. We always do baskets for our kids for Valentine's Day and Easter. So I thought that would be cute to put in hers. And I knew that if I didn't get it now, then it wouldn't be there because there wasn't very many left. So I thought for her. And then I always decorate the kids' bathroom. So I got this little towel for them. I also saw this tree skirt. This was half off at Dollar Tree. Thought this would be good for Liam's tree, so I went ahead and got that. And then I needed one more bag for one more gift, so I got a bag. And then I also saw these, and I thought this would be good to put, like, my Valentine's Day baking stuff in. So I went ahead and picked that up at Walmart. This is the last gift that I had to get someone that is coming to Christmas, like, last minute. Um, so give him that. Hopefully he likes it. I don't know. And then um, I went on the clearance section. I'm actually, I was actually needing another one of these. They had a ton, so I went ahead and picked up one. It was... 50 cents used to be 227 so that's a pretty good deal I almost picked up another one then I was like well where am I gonna put it so and that lasted me a good year so anyway um I went to the Christmas section to get half off stuff so I got these for the kids this will be Bristol's this will be Liam's I wanted to get Liam like navy but they didn't have it so I just got him just like traditional this was like the most um masculine stuff that they had um so I got him this and then I needed a restock on my wax belts. I did go ahead and pick up a fresh cut Fraser one because I'm still kind of like in the Christmas spirit, but um, I didn't want something that was like too sweet. So I got the fresh cut Fraser. I'll, I'll, I will uh, melt this for the next week or so, and then I'll put away whatever I don't melt. And then these are basically my favorites. There is one more. It's called Verdant uh, Peach or Palm or something like that. They didn't have it. But so I got the peony and blush, white peach and daisy, sea salt sage, and then bubbles. So that will keep me stocked for a little bit. I also stopped to get Taco Bell and my coffee. So. so the rest of this vlog is just me like resetting my whole house after the holidays. I just felt like my house was kind of in shambles and I just really needed to do like a whole house reset to kind of calm my anxiety a little bit. But I did want to talk to you guys about like 2023 reflections. I've been reflecting on the year a lot lately and just kind of like looking towards the future. And I am someone that makes resolutions um, and I usually try to keep it pretty realistic. But I just think that it's important to just kind of reflect and dream about the future. So that's that's what I've been doing lately. I've been thinking about it a lot lately. And I just kind of wanted to share with you guys um, my 2023, I call them accomplishments. So the biggest thing that I did was I left my toxic job. 
and this job was somewhere that I had been for six years. I had really like developed a relationship with um, some people and the patients and the doctor and at the end of the day I just think that I kind I finally came to a point where I knew that it wasn't serving me anymore and it was really making me extremely unhappy and while you're in a toxic situation I think it's really hard to see like how toxic something is until you get out of it and now that I've been gone for going on six months at this point I really see how toxic it was and how much it was hindering my growth. So I'm really glad that I got out of that toxic job and I'm super happy with my job now. Along with that, I also, um, I kind of let go of some friendships that were really just, for lack of better words, toxic. Um, the couple people that I'm talking about specifically, I just, I got to a point where I just did not like the way that they were making me feel. I felt like I was putting more into the friendship than they were. And while they were constantly my number ones, I was never their number ones and I was never going to be. And so it finally just got to a point where I was like, you know what? I cannot keep doing this anymore. I have to love myself and I have to get out of the toxic relationships. And so that's what I did. And even though my friend circle is super, super small, we're talking like two people that I'm super close with. Um, I have not been happier about my friendships and it really makes me cherish my friendships even more. So yeah, I left those toxic relationships and I'm so much happier now. Um, I also spent a lot of time saying no when I didn't want to, which might sound really small, but I am such a people pleaser and I've always been that way since I was little. And I think a lot of that con contributes to my childhood trauma, but I, I just had to stop doing things that I did not want to do. And I finally, this year, started saying no and standing up for myself. Um, I also let go of my guilt whenever I knew I was supposed to be doing something and I just didn't want to do it. I would always just feel so guilty. The mom guilt is so real. And I finally just got to the point where I had to just let go of it. I had to let myself feel my feels and just be done with it you know people aren't paying that much attention anyways and a lot of it I was just creating so much worry and guilt for myself and so I just had to let go of that a lot of this year I feel like was letting go and just doing better for myself so um I also took the final leap and I did make a therapy appointment which you guys saw earlier and I'm so happy I did that I have been meaning to do that for so long and I just feel so much better so yeah, that was kind of my 2023 accomplishments. I also decided to go ahead and write down all of my 2024 goals. Some people put them in a planner, some people type them out. I actually prefer to write them down and put them up somewhere where I can see it every day. So that's what I did. So I'm just going to read them off to you just like I wrote them. So attend therapy to heal trauma and maintain my ADHD insanity. Um, I was tested for ADHD and they do suspect that I have it. So I'm going to therapy also for that. Um, I want to pay off all of our accrued debt, which I do think we're going to be able to do. And I'm super excited. My husband's excited. Debt is just one of those things that I feel like everyone has. And we just, it's just a constant ticking time bomb. When you have doubt, you just want to pay it off and then something happens and you have to accrue more debt and it's just a revolving cycle. And I really just want to put a stop to that this year. I want to get to a place where we don't have to rely on debt. Um, it might not be a realistic expectation for today's society, but I would like to at least try and then um, my health goals, I want to walk 10,000 steps five times a week. So I did order a standing desk and a walking pad, and that should be here sometime next week. But I really want to do that. And I also want to drink 80 ounces of water every day. And I did the math, and that's actually just five bottles of water. So if I can drink five bottles of water every day, I think I will be golden. And honestly, you should be drinking water anyway, so I just need to be better about that. Um, I also want to read the Bible. I did go to church when I was a kid, but reading the Bible was never like instilled in me as a child. And I really would just like to do that. If you guys have any like 
podcasts or Bible apps or anything that you recommend, let me know. I did download just like the Holy Bible app. The app is brown, I think. It looks just like the Bible. And um, so I'm going to start doing that hopefully today. I need to just get in and do it. Um, and then just... I really would like to reach 3,500 subscribers on YouTube. Just a small goal. I'm at 25 right now. So I think if I can do 1,000 subscribers this year, I think I'd be happy with that. And then, um, so I really want to focus more on family. So spending more time with my family. So my idea is a monthly dinner with my dad and my grandpa, a monthly visit to my mama's house, monthly playdates with my sister and her kids, and then quarterly game nights with my siblings that are kind of like removed from the family, but we're still, we still consider ourselves siblings. So I would really like to do that. Okay, so here's a little hack to hang up a picture. You see this has two, so you take some painter's tape. Uh -huh. And that one too. Well, he's gonna have to wait. And you put it over. Yum. And then you take a marker where the heck it went <laughs> and you put where your nails want to be. Hold that. Let's maybe get it. And then you take it off and you can stick it on the wall where you need to hang something. And then um, semi monthly date nights and semi monthly girl dinner. So I always talk to my friends um the month before and i just say hey i'm planning my january calendar do you want to go to dinner on this night and they're like yeah so put that on my calendar i have two girls that i kind of rotate between and then um for date nights with my husband i will just do like every other week that i'm not doing a girl dinner so basically every thursday i have a date night with someone and i also made like a date night um cup and we're gonna draw from it which i'll probably talk about in a vlog and next week's vlog because it's a lot to talk about right now but um i'll share that with you but i just want to really incorporate more time with people that i love and then my last thing is just say no when i don't want to i'm working on not being a people pleaser anymore and that's just a really big thing in my life that i have to constantly work on because like i said i do have a lot of childhood trauma and i just need to work through it so yeah, that is all of my 2024 goals. Let me know down below what your goals are. Even if you just tell me like your top goal, um, just let me know what you're thinking. Um, let me know how your 2023 was. 2023 was a huge healing year for me or the beginning of a healing journey. I think I would say um, it took me probably like half the year to realize how broken I was. Um, and then the other half of the year, I was just trying to figure out how to mend myself and I am still really far away from healing, but I am just happy. Hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you are new here, please subscribe. Other than that, I will see you in my next one. Bye guys.